What's up you guys? Welcome to another My Luminaire video. This is my investor Armando. Yo yo. And we're gonna show you how to make this super cool pendant light chandelier. This chandelier is meant to hang over the dining table. Each one of these pipes has a lateral reflectance, not just the downlight and uplight. That way it creates a really nice and interesting highlights on the receiving surfaces. So let's see how it was made. I had this anodized aluminum pipe laying around which I used to make the pipes. Their length is about 60 centimeters and they were cut at a 45 degree angle. As you can see the angles are tilted by 90 degrees in respect to one another. To produce the heat sink holders that go inside the pipes, I used a metal hole saw along with some WD-40 for lubrication and a wooden guide to start the hole. After some sanding of the newly developed parts, it was time to glue the smart chip 9W LEDs onto them using some heatsink compound glue. A good rule of thumb here is to put a thin coat of glue and spread it evenly. These LEDs have a nice indentation between the live and neutral terminals and this is the exact place to drill a hole to route the wires through. Next step is to create the ceiling holder using an aluminum C extrusion in which we just drill the holes necessary for the wire routing and the holding screws. It's important to deburr all the holes not to create the damage on the wire insulation. To cap the ends of the ceiling holder C extrusion, I 3D printed some custom plastic caps. You can make these caps out of wood, cause they're going to be painted anyways. It's a good idea to place an info sticker on the luminaire cause you never know who's gonna service it in the future and it contains some valuable information about the lamp. These four holes are drilled for wire routing and you are going to see why in just a second. As always, all the holes need to be deburred to prevent damage to the wires. Before proceeding with the pipes, I painted the ceiling holder and its caps, but first you want to prime the materials using their proprietary primer.
I soldered the LEDs in parallel and pushed one of them through the pipe. One end of the wire was left longer to hang the pipe on the ceiling. These complementary mechanical shapes were printed to press fit it in the pipe to hold the heat sink in place before gluing it to the rest of the pipe. Using the same heatsink compound, glue the heatsink to the rest of the pipe so it makes a really big heatsink for the LEDs. My client didn't like the anodized look of the pipes, so I painted them in some anthracite metal paint. I protected the reflector parts using some masking tape. And now the most satisfying part after painting, removing of the masking tape. As you can see, this is how the wires should look after routing them through the pre-drilled holes. And this is how to actually do it. You can route the wires straight through the pre-drill holes or you can make it in an X form, which is a cool design feature that gives character to the luminaire. The one thing that's left is routing the wires through the ceiling holder and adding the electrical connectors so the lamp can be hanged on the ceiling. Shorten the ceiling wires so they don't stick out much. And since this was a drywall ceiling, it was necessary to use a special equipment to mount the lamp on the ceiling. And the easiest part in the end, of course, just add the plastic caps on the ceiling holder. And voila, the chandelier was hanged. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you got some idea how to make those pipe looking like pictures. Go ahead and destroy the YouTube action buttons cause it helps me grow the channel and make more good content for you. This is my Luminaire, until next time, Godspeed!